What is going on guys? White Legends here. And I have the Model B Plus Raspberry Pi. 512 megabytes of RAM. It has four HDMI port or four USB ports, a full size HDMI port, a micro SD slot, a 40 pin extended GPIO, and of course 512 megabytes of RAM. So we're gonna open this up here. Here it is. In a static proof bag. Set that aside. As you can see here, four USB ports, Ethernet, two little lights on there, audio jack. I used a aux cord when I plugged mine in and it worked fine, so HDMI port and your itty bitty little power supply. That is the normal power supply for phones nowadays. So you should have one lying around. So you got the 40 extended GPIOs. And that is the Raspberry Pi. The, like, this thing is amazing. I love it. $35. Credit card size computer. What better can you ask for? So you got like the little Raspberry Pi logo there. So just remember guys, this is a $35 computer, the size of a credit card. Don't expect this thing to be pulling out Battlefield, the 180p graphics and stuff. Ain't gonna happen. It comes pre-installed with Minecraft. Um, so that's pretty cool. It plays that because it Minecraft the Minecraft Pi is optimized for the Raspberry Pi. So uh I'm going to show you how to set your Raspberry Pi up and the first boot. So let's get started. Hey guys, now that we're back, you're going to want to acquire a micro SD card. Um, preferably a 6 gigabyte or higher. I only have a 4 gigabyte right now. And you're going to want a micro SD card adapter. So you're going to slide that in there. And then slide it in your computer slot. And then open it up on your computer so you can install noobs and get it ready. Okay, so now that we have the SD card in the computer, you're going to want to go to Google and type in SD Formatter. Click on the top page. Wait for it to load. Scroll down. And you're going to want to download for Windows or download for Mac, depending on what computer you have. So I'm going to download Windows. Scroll down, click I accept. I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to cancel it. But once it's done, you're just going to extract it to your desktop and run the installation. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, so now that we have SD formatter downloaded, you're going to open it up. Make sure you have your drive selected. Click format. going to format it and then we're done with SD formatter. So exit out of that and then you're going to want to open the web page up again. Type in raspberrypi.org raspberrypi.org slash downloads. So I have a link in the description for this download and you're going to want to download noobs. So we're going to click download zip. And then, after it's done downloading, you're just going to extract it to your SD card. But I'm going to wait for this to download, and I'll be right back. So the download has finished now, so we're going to go to our downloads. Double click on it. Click this right here, extract to. And we're going to extract it to our SD card. It's right here, recovery F. Click OK and it's going to extract it. So I'll come back when it is done. So it has finished extracting onto the SD card. So we're pretty much done here. Just going to exit all of that stuff and make sure you safely remove your SD card. 
All right, now we're going to go to the Raspberry Pi. So now we're going to want to take our SD card and slide it in here. <coughs> take your power supply, plug it in, lights will come on, HDMI, aux cord, and an ethernet cable. So now that we have everything plugged in, the Raspberry Pi is starting up. So I'm going to get a mouse real quick and I'll be back. Okay, so I plugged my mouse in. So, Raspbian is the normal, like, you can just play Minecraft or do some programming and whatnot. Stream the web. Um, boot to Scratch, that is a beginner's programming thing. Open Elect is a XBMC Media Center, which is pretty much the same as RAS BMC. So, uh, not sure what Arch or Pedora or anything is. Or you could do RISC OS, fast and very compact system. So I'm going to start up with just Raspbian. Check it and click install. Click yes. And then it's going to install Raspbian, which will take quite a while, about 10 minutes. And I'll be back when it's done. So the Raspberry Pi Raspbian has just been finished installing. So we're going <laughs> to look at that loser right there. So it's going to um, run this. This is normal. This is startup. Um, if it asks for a password when you first turn it on, a username and password, the username is going to be PI, just PI, PI, and the password is going to be Raspberry. So, yeah. You can go ahead and change that once you open it up. So once this pops up, you're just going to, alright, I need a keyboard, so be right back. Okay, so now I have my keyboard plugged in, so we're just going to go down, and go over to finish, and then this is going to pop up right there, and when you see that, you're just going to want to type in start x, start x, and click enter. And that is going to start your Raspberry Pi up. There we are. And the Raspberry Pi has started up. So this is home screen. You can go up here and click menu. And you got your simple programmings. And you can go to the internet games, minecraft, accessories, you got calculator, help, There's some other stuff there, and then your preferences for your settings for your keyboard and stuff, and then you can do that. So we're gonna run minecraft, it opens up fast, and we're gonna just click full screen, As you can see right now, it's being a little laggy. There we go. Nope. I think it's my mouse being messed up. There we go. No? So I'm going to exit full screen because it's being a little weird. But I'm going to create a new game. So as you can see, up here, it shows how much of the like RAM or CPU you're using and it is at 100% right now 
when it is starting a Minecraft. It'll go back down about 60 and stuff, 70 when you're playing. Alright, so this is going to open. And here we are. We're in the world of Minecraft. So I can't really play because I'm one-handed with my hand holding the camera. But as you can see, it's not being very laggy at all. So this is creative mode and it is using 69% right now. It jumps up and down a lot. So, I'm going to exit this. The $35 credit card size computer. Links in the description. Comment below if you want to know any more. Um, you can do a lot of stuff with these. I got a case coming in the mail soon. I'll do a review on that when I get it. Also, one more thing before I go. When you're done with your Raspberry Pi, make sure you click on Menu. You want to shut down. Shut down. Okay. If you don't do that and you just unplug your power, you can corrupt your SD card and maybe even break your Raspberry Pi. So that is it. Once it shut off, you can unplug your power and you're good to go. So peace out, guys.